Okay, so we are continuing our tutorials on PHP, and this time we're going to be exploding strings, and really that's not nearly as fun as it sounds, uh, but definitely still pretty cool, and it's going to be pretty much very similar, if not almost identical, to our last tutorial. Uh, this is a series, this PHP series. This is video number seven. Hopefully there's an annotation somewhere on the screen right now, if I didn't forget, uh, that will lead you to the playlist. I recommend watching the previous videos in this playlist before continuing on with this one. Also, you should know at least some basic HTML before moving on to PHP. Uh, now, as I said last tutorial, we were learning about uh, splitting strings and today we're going to be working with exploding strings uh, and since it's so similar instead of writing out the code all over again I am just going to copy my split code to uh, a new file explode.php uh, and then I'm going to go into it once again I'm using vim as my text editor but feel free to use whatever text editor you prefer it's a personal per personal preference um, and here's our code we've got um, a variable that contains a string that has a person's first name, last name, and their occupation or job title there. And then what we're doing is we are splitting that uh, by the commas and setting variables uh, based on those elements and then outputting them into HTML format. Uh, and uh, as I said, today instead of, well, let's, let's, First off, save this, uh, refresh this, and we will open that up in the web browser, and you can see how it outputs everything. Now, if I come down here, and instead of split, I type explode, and save it, and rerun it. Yep, I refreshed it. Nothing changes. Uh, that's because pretty much we're doing the same exact thing here. But if I come back down here and I undo that and I put split back in there, you may remember the last tutorial, I kind of got messed up and started jumping ahead in tutorials. Uh, I put in a pipe instead of a comma. And then I went up here to my strings and put in, in my string and put in uh, pipes instead of commas. Saved it. And I did get an error when I refreshed. Uh, and it's saying errors on line three, which is this line here. And that would be because I'm passing split this pipe symbol. Well, let me come in here and change this from pipe uh, from a split to explode, save it and run it again. Well, here you see we're back to it working again. That's because one of the main differences between um, uh, split and explode is that split recognizes regular expressions. And when I was putting that pipe in there, split thought that I was trying to pass it some regular expressions and it confused it. Um, so if you're not gonna be using regular expressions, explode is a good option. Also from what I've read, uh, explode works a little bit faster, supposedly. Really in this particular case, we're talking fractions, small, small fractions of a second. But I tend to use explode more than I would split. Uh, and one of the main reasons is I tend to use the pipe symbol a lot if I'm working with files, uh, which we're going to get into the next tutorial, basically doing the same thing. But instead of with just a string within the text, uh, string within a script, we're going to be working with in files. Um, and I like to use the pipe symbol when I'm making my uh, files, uh, CSV files, which really means comma separated values no comment I, I always forget the v stands for i always say values but i think it stands for something else anyway i tend to use the pipe symbol because that's a lot less likely to cause problems because uh, let's say you're putting an address and addresses have commas so then you got to put quotations around each section as well split them by commas it just gets complicated so i tend to use the pipe symbol just because it's i mean really other than when you're coding when do you type the pipe symbol so uh, a lot less likely to to bump into errors there, little problems. Um, so explode is a good option, unless you need to use regular expressions. And then also there's another thing I've never used, but I have read about, uh, which is um, uh, pREG split, that's P-R-E-G underscore split. Uh, and basically use it the same way. I guess you would type something like this. In fact, I've never used it before. Let's see what happens when we type this, underscore split. And supposedly that's like the other split, 
um, also accepts uh, regular expressions, so you got to be careful how you put stuff in there because you it may think that it's something that it's not. Nope, see that still doesn't work. Once again, I've never used this before. Uh, supposedly, if you learn how to use it, it's uh, it's like split only faster. That's my understanding of the difference. So really, from what I've read, using split is really um, never needed because uh, I guess if you're using it uh, in newer versions of PHP, you should be using this type of split regular rather than the regular split. Um, but I mostly use explode because uh, at least for what I mostly do, I don't need regular expressions. But if you're going through a large file that has a lot of different things in it, you might need regular expressions. But that's beyond this tutorial. So we will undo stuff like so, save that, refresh, and we're back to how we were before. Now, we're also putting this into a list. Uh, and if you remember from our last tutorial with split, we also put it into an array. Uh, and you can do the same thing in this case. Um, basically, uh, instead of putting a list, which is probably uh, more useful uh, in a lot of cases, um, in my opinion, uh, we can say, oh, not echo, we can say dollar sign names. And now instead of having F name, L name, and OP for occupation, we have names zero names one and names two and if I did everything right the output looks the same even though, though the codes different we can even look at the HTML looks the same so that is definitely um, uh, another way to do it uh, all depending on what you're trying to do. I think in most cases what I use it for, I probably use, would use the list. That way everything's uh, named the a variable that corresponds with what it's holding. Uh, so that is the explode command. Uh, and once again, in uh, the next tutorial, we'll probably be using the explode command along with our um, first tutorial, which we went over in this series. Once again, there should be an annotation for the entire playlist. But the... Uh, it, the what was I saying? Oh, reading files line by line and splitting those up. So that's what we're going to work with in the next tutorial. So I hope you look forward to that. If you're enjoying these tutorials, please give these videos thumbs up and comment below. Let me know, uh, and we'll have more of these coming up. And this is all once again the we're working with server side stuff here. Uh, other tutorials I'm having during the week are with uh, jQuery, so client-side stuff and other JavaScript stuff. And soon we'll be putting the two together to make full-blown applications, which you can package together either, in my opinion, most of the time you should just run them from a website. But if you wanted to package it up into a uh, application for a phone, uh, I'll go over Android devices or package it for, for Linux or Windows. Um, I don't have a Mac machine, but uh, some of the techniques will work for that as well. So uh, basically, you'll be making applications that will run on pretty much anything. And it's just, if you don't want to load them in the browser, it's just how you package them, which is really all programming. If you write a program right, should run on all operating systems, as long as you go through the effort of packaging it for different operating systems. So I uh, thank you once again for watching. Sorry for my babbling at the end there. Uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope that you have a great day. Visit my website, filmsbychris.com. There should be a link in the description, and that is Chris with a K. Have a great day. <laughs>